Adventures of Hurry Man. As the title says, it's Superman Week. Metropolis is dedicating an entire week to ceremonies and celebrations in honor of their hero and protector. All right, Superman. That does it. Think it'll make a good poster for Superman Week? I didn't know a portrait could be so flattering. Later, he has an appointment with the famous sculptor Mr. Vandeglas. Our painter here isn't famous enough to have a name. She's listed as woman artist. Maybe after the publicity she gets from doing this portrait, she'll graduate to being Miss Woman Artist. Golly. I could only fly like Superman instead of taking those hot subway. Or not. Artists who break the fourth wall rarely become famous. Hello, is this the Raja of Bergonia? Well, I'm Lois Lane of the Daily Planet. It's Superman week here in Metropolis. I'm calling you because we're having a testimonial dinner in Superman's honor. We thought it'd be nice if all the people he's ever helped sent telegrams or cables of thanks. Superman once rescued the Raja of Begonia when a consortium of enemies from neighboring Gardenia and Wisteria tried to kidnap him and hold him for ransom. For his heroic deeds, the Raja awarded Superman with the Order of the Golden Chrysanthemum with Baby's Breath Cluster. It's kept in a special case at the Begonian Embassy because Superman said he didn't have any place to put it. Jimmy comes in and hangs out for a bit, then leaves in a hurry for reasons Lois doesn't have time to try and guess. Clark just got back from all his Superman appointments, as if he can tell Lois and Perry that's where he was. Did you get my memo? No, sir. Oh, here it is. See what you can dig up on Cy, Cy Horton, huh? According to the Underworld Grapevine, he's up to some big caper. Find out what? Staying at 5867 Westlake. Mm. And he's a tough customer, so be careful. Can Clark get on it in the morning? I need some help with these Superman stories. Can Jimmy do that? Oh, he just took off. Destination a big secret. This will take way too long for them to put together. But Jimmy didn't see this, did he? Oh, I don't know. He might have. Why? Well, he'd be no match for Cy Horton. Oh, Clark, Jimmy's not that silly. We are talking about Jimmy Olsen, right? Think about what you just said. Remember, this is the kid who took a horseshoe, a rabbit's foot, and a four-leaf clover to the anti-superstition club. Don't underestimate how silly he can be. Yep. Hi. The, uh, the telephone company sent me. What for? Well, there's, uh, something the matter with your telephone. We got a complaint. Really, Jimmy? Sir Nitpick's mustache is more believable than that one. Horton busts him within a minute. James B. Olson, reporter on the Daily Planet. What are you snooping around for? The man asked you a question. Shut up, I'll handle this. Here. All the best gangsters keep a bottle of truth drug in their coat pocket. He forces Jimmy to drink it, and like all good TV drugs, it takes effect immediately. Under the drug's influence, Jimmy tells them about kryptonite and what it can do to Superman. Tell us, where can we get some? The only known piece is in Metropolis Bay, in a lead pipe. Superman threw it there. Why Superman threw it there, I will never know. A smart superhero would have thrown it into the sun. Like all good TV drugs, it wears off as soon as he's told them what they want to know. Horton sends Jimmy on his way with a warning not to tell anybody about this. Jimmy returns to the planet and asks to speak to Clark in private. Mr. Kenner done something awful. Oh, it can't be as bad as all that. It's worse. I don't know how to tell you. Cy Horton. Cy Horton. I went to see him. Jimmy spills the whole story, including the drug. Clark says, I'll contact Superman and hopefully he'll know what to do. Yeah, go get the stuff before they do and throw it into the sun, like he should have done in the first place. He tells Jimmy to come by his place later. Recognize this? Yeah. Well, that's the lead pipe Superman threw into the bay with the kryptonite inside of it. That's right. Fortunately, Superman can handle kryptonite when it's encased in lead. What if it ever gets outside the pipe? Why did Superman fish it out of the bay and give it to you? Well, Jimmy, Superman has a plan. In fact, he's setting a trap. The kryptonite is the bait in the trap, and our prey is approaching. Okay, let's have it. 
I don't know what you're talking about. The kryptonite. Where is it, Doc? And where is it? Kryptonite? What kryptonite? All right, that's enough of the cute bit. You two, mister, get him up. Taylor and your young friend here, but I didn't think it'd pay off so soon. <laughs> This is a lead pipe cinch. That's a dreadful pun that people under 50 probably didn't get. They take the pipe and exit. Clark watches them through the wall. Oh, hurry up. Ah, this guy. <laughs> Once we get this kryptonite within five feet of Superman, he's a dead pigeon. Golly, what'll Superman do now? I don't know, Jimmy. I don't know. As traps go, I'm not sure I understand how this one works. Superman is off to sit for Mr. Vandeglass. Except it's not Mr. Vandeglass, it's Cy Horton in disguise. And the kryptonite is embedded in the Superman sculpture. How do you feel now, Superman? Wait a minute. You're not Vandeglass, you're Cy. Cy Horton. That's right, Buster. It's too late, Superman. A few... a few... Yeah? We... dizzy. That's because you got a hole in your head. Right here, filled with kryptonite. Superman collapses and Cy tells his associate about the job they're going to pull. There's a big stash of money that Superman is supposed to be guarding. Getting it'll be easy with him out of the way. You shouldn't have sent that for that coffee. The knockout drops were pretty good. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Let's find a key. Cy carries an entire drugstore in his pocket. Got to be ready for anything, you know. Superman! I give up, I give up. Cy was sentenced to five years plus a fine, which included the price of replacing the door. He says that'll hold you until the police get here. He doesn't say how the police are supposed to get them out of there. I hate to think what would have happened if you hadn't phoned that warning. You know that coffee turned the sink purple. You know that coffee turned the sink purple. But what about the kryptonite? I thought that... I know what you thought. You thought it'd destroy me. How that story ever got started, I don't know. As a matter of fact, I intend to use this as a good luck piece. Needless to say, it wasn't really kryptonite. He never fished it out of the bay. But now the underworld believes that kryptonite has no effect on Superman. So thanks for that, Cy. And by the way, you get another eight months for that lump on Mr. Vandeglass's head. Back at the planet, Lois has a little surprise for Clark. In 45 minutes, you're scheduled to interview Superman, and I can't wait to see you wiggle out of this one. That should be very interesting, Mr. Kent, interviewing Superman. And just what's so interesting about it? Oh, I don't know. It's just interesting. He's doing this on live television, too. He can't use the split-screen trick. Jimmy and Lois are at Clark's apartment watching on his TV set. Hello, citizens of Metropolis. I'm Clark Kent of the Daily Planet. They've asked me to interview Superman. I thought he should have the stage to himself, so that's why we set things up this way. So here he is, Superman. And they can't even get on him for it because it makes good sense and good television. He did it to them again. Thank you, Mr. Ken. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, tell me, Superman, what do you think of Superman Week? I'm proud to have a part in the wonderful and worthwhile things that have been done this week. I couldn't help noticing that even Clark's TV is black and white. Eventually, Superman was instrumental in bringing down the price of color sets. He felt it was necessary because people were starting to think his costume was gray, grayer, and other gray. He couldn't have that. Thanks for watching, kids. And remember, clicking that like button is cool. Subscribing is even cooler. Leaving a comment is as cool as the coolest person you know. And becoming a patron makes you almost just like Superman. So don't hesitate. Do it today. Until next time.